this week, it's Dan Dibley, FB Santangelo, Mark Randy with you here on Willard and Dibs. The trade deadline is an hour old. We will hear from Farhan Zaidi, Giants president of baseball operations, coming up in just a little bit. But first, all guests at 95.7 The Game appear on the River Islands guest line. Isn't it time for you to discover the islands, River Islands in Lathrop? And that includes, of course, uh, one of our favorites, Dr. Narav Pandya, who joins us on Cleared to Play, where we take you inside the tent and get you updated on the latest injuries in the Bay. Proud to partner with UCSF Health on this segment and bring in Professor of Orthopedic Surgery, Dr. Narav Pandya. Doc, how you doing? Happy deadline day. I'm doing good. How are you guys doing? We're doing well. The Giants make a couple of moves. They trade out Alex Cobb. They trade out Jorge Soler, Luke Jackson. They bring in Marcana and a couple of others. But maybe the biggest news of what this all means is Hayden Birdsong probably going to get a, a, a rotation spot, a consistent rotation spot for the rest of the season, keeping an eye on him and Kyle Harrison and these young guys who maybe haven't pitched a number of full professional seasons for quite a while. Just how important is it for guys young guys developing guys to make sure they don't go crazy with their innings pitched and how might that impact the way the Giants manage these things specifically with Kyle Harrison and Hayden Birdsong down the stretch yeah no I think it's really important and I think especially as you get in the latter half of the season number one it's looking at how frequently are they pitching which may be different especially if they're going down to the Myers coming back up so you're looking for that they have enough recovery in between starts and the second thing you are looking at pitch counts and I think as opposed to 10, 15 years ago, these players have a lot more wear and tear on their arms than, than years past. So as you get later in the season, if they're hitting up high pitch counts, their arms may not necessarily be able to handle that prolonged stress. So absolutely looking at them pitching potentially four or five innings, making sure you're not getting that shoulder soreness, that elbow soreness. So very important, particularly as the season goes on. From uh, forearm soreness is another thing as well. Tyler Matzik, the new acquisition coming off of Tommy John, now has flexor tendon signaling Exactly what is that, Doc? Yeah, so, you know, this is a common thing that we see with, you know, patients who basically either get a UCL tear or have UCL surgery. And what happens is essentially on the inside part of your elbow, there's something called the flexor pronator mass, which is essentially the, the muscles that basically help to kind of like move your wrist up and down and turn it kind of side to side. And when you are throwing repetitively, not only does your UCL get strained, but those muscles in that area also get strained and the nerve, which is the ulnar nerve on the inside, all gets irritated. So a lot of times coming off UCL surgery, even though the ligament may be healed, that area gets irritated as well, too. So it's a warning sign that something may not necessarily be going right. So immediately, particularly after a UCL injury, when someone goes surgery, you get that pain, you shut them down to make sure that inflammation goes away and doesn't impact that surgery that they had done. Doc, I chucked one from short about three weeks ago, and something something felt weird in my elbow. And it's just like it's it's very sore, and I can't throw. And when I do throw, it feels like there's a knife in there. Did I blow out? Was that? Do I need Tommy Johnson sur- surgery now? Tommy Johnson. <laughs> well, you don't need Tommy Johnson surgery, definitely. But uh, no, I mean you can't. I mean, like, as we get older as well, too, you can you know, blow out a UCL. But typically, usually this is more of a tendonitis type issue. It'll feel like a sharp stabbing pain. It hurt at night. So yeah. I think a little ice, a little anti-inflammatories, you'll be okay. Yeah, maybe. A, can you give me a shot, Doc? Just I need a cortisone, <laughs> I need a cortisone <laughs> shot for old times' sake. Just like shoot me up. Let's go. I'm doing these fantasy go. camps. It's important. Exactly. All right. Get, thanks, get you back out on the field. Thanks, Doc. I appreciate it. <laughs> All right, thanks, Doc. Uh, appreciate your time as always. Uh, we'll, we'll check in with Niners Camp coming up next week, and we'll get into more of that other stuff. We appreciate you taking out the time as always, and we'll catch up with you next week. Okay, Doc. 